I'm Dancing Swan Lake for the last time, which I'm, I'm beginning to look forward to now. I think um, I'm going to enjoy this performance. When the final curtain falls on Karen Kane's Swan Lake tonight, Canada's favorite ballerina will say goodbye to the role that thrust her into the national spotlight 25 years ago. I remember that Veronica Tennant helped me um, do my hair and prepare for it, and she was injured at the time, and I was actually replacing her, and yet she took time to, to help me. And I remember that when I started the Fuetes um, in the Black Swan, the audience started to applaud, and I'd never had applause come in the middle of something, and it, it really kind of threw my concentration. But it showcased Kane's incredible talent. She danced her way to international stardom with ballet greats Frank Augustine and Rudolf Nureyev. But Kane never forgot her Canadian roots and remained faithful to the National Ballet. I can't believe um, all the things that have happened to me and all the opportunities I've had and all the wonderful people I've worked with. It, it's sort of overwhelming to me. And I feel so fortunate and, and incredibly fortunate to still be able to dance. And dance she will. Swan Lake may be in her past, but dancing is not. Kane has three ballets, including Romeo and Juliet, lined up for next year. I have not made a decision when I'll retire. I, I take it year by year, and I, um, I mean, there are lots of things that will, will inform me that it's, that it's time to stop. One of them being, you know, my own body will probably really tell me. And I still love dancing so much, and I still am given the opportunity to perform. Um, so I, I really have nothing to complain about. Anna Seraldi, CBC Entertainment.